show. Till I'm late to rest, yes, always be depressed. There's no life in the way, sir. Hey, yo, sit back, relax. Let yourself go and listen to this. A bad, a bad is never yours. It's just your turn. Yeah. So whenever she decides to leave and wander off, move on to the next. You look like you get cheated on a lot, though. Nah. Oh, I don't right. think so. I mean, me neither. Yeah, you never know, right? You never know. That's what I'm never telling know. you. You never know. Like, you can't control none of this, yo. <laughs> you cheat? You be cheating? Oh, nah, bro. Yes, sir. Black men don't cheat, bro. You be sucking toes? Type, type. You a freak it. It's cool, though. One thing you have to notice, he says, baddies. When it comes to baddies, it's just your turn. Why? Because baddies are going to follow the money. That's why a lot of dudes, they lead with the money to get the baddies. The relationship is never about chemistry. It's a superficial relationship. Not only that, but it's a transaction. Like I said before, when you have a large number of men I call them simps. They lean in with their money. You're going to get those type of results. Versus a person that leans in with good intentions. A person that leans in with good intentions, man meaning, he's going to get good results. It's almost like good and bad. When you lean in with good results, you get good results. When you lean in with bad results, you get bad results. So now you know, okay, this is transactional. Transactional can only go for so long before it gets played out. Keep that in mind, my simps. About to enter a world close to parts unknown. Ladies, before you fix your lips to complain about what he has not done for you lately, I want you to think about what you've done for him lately to motivate him to continue doing for you. Because men carry the true load. He needs just as much support, if not more, than you do. One thing that men start to understand and notice in relationship, women want the man to be a mind reader. So a lot of women complaints are strictly delusional because they expected a man to read their mind. Yeah. I get it, Spade. And, and to add to that, there's no conversation. There's no communication. Where's the communication? Because on the other side of that coin, there's a large number of men that have the same argument. Well, she's supposed to read my mind. We're all not mind readers. It's old school, simple conversation. Where's the communication foundation laid? Where's that at? The main reason, and even Dr. Ruth, God bless her soul, says the same thing. Communication is key. Communication is key. There's levels to this. Hey, that's all right. That's all right. You heard coming from a I can tell you right now, you don't need to heal. You don't need to heal, so don't let nobody tell you, oh, you need to heal, you just need some time to yourself, no, boo. You need you a new nigga. You need you a nigga that understand your worth. You need a nigga that's gonna make you smile. You need a nigga that's actually on what you own. You need a nigga that's mentally on what you own. So that means whatever you like. So if you like a nigga that like to go on dates, you need to be fucked with a nigga that like to go on dates. If you don't like explaining yourself, you need to fuck with a nigga that's in tune and who get it. True. But you still must heal first. Where people mess up in relationships is they try to heal a relationship by rushing to get in another relationship. No, you must take time to yourself, heal, better yourself, and then go into the next situation with a smarter consciousness, with a more healthy view of life. Too many people need to be in relationships so you avoid red flags of others just to keep their companionship. And that's where most people fail. Watch and to add to that, you do not allow your chat yourself the ability to look within self. You have to be willing to tap into yourself. Look at yourself. Accountability. 
Where did I go wrong? What could I have do better? What can I do better next time? Okay? Not only giving yourself a, the ability and the chance to heal, but also sit back and doing some self-check. Doing some personal house cleaning within yourself. Main thing, is your spiritual life in order? That's what she say to her. Now she's still trying to use it because she has nothing else going on. And while she's sitting around running around talking about my husband and my the father of my children, and she spends her weekends peddling through sperm banks, looking okay. through catalogs to try to find the donor, honey, you don't know if your baby daddy will be an ax child. Because what you will know is that he needed $10 to get him a medium-sized pizza so he ejaculated in a cup so you could have a kid. Now check that. Little message out there for all the women that's trying to go to the sperm bay thinking that you're going to have a child. You have to stop and really ask yourself, what decent man that had his life together went into a sperm bank to ejaculate in the cup so you can have a child? It's so funny. Not only that, but what's going on today, there's so much stuff going on today. You have to, we, we all have to be cautious about where we go, what we do, who we doing it with, who we're talking to, okay? Choosing our words wisely because you have some individuals that would get caught up in their damn feelings and their emotions because of what you said, even though you being truthful. And what we've discovered is most people don't like it when you write. Most people don't like it when you put the truth in proper perspective. Funny to me when men introduce themselves as their street names. Who is Big Money E? Your name is Emmanuel, and that's what I'm going to call you. Like they'll really look you dead in the eyes and be like, I go by C Easy. Your mother named you Christopher. Don't make me mad. Talking about some big honcho. Who? Bye, Anthony. Because I'm not calling you that. But when you're still dating in the streets, you're still dating the Chads, the Tyrones, the bad boys, the wannabe gangsters. These are the street names that they go by. You cannot try to date these street dudes and then try to shake them into being good guys. Women got to start to learn to start off with the good guy. And, and look who you attract. Look who you attract. If all you attract is that, that's what you're going to get. You know what I see when I look in your eyes? I see a scared little chocolate bitch. Fuck up off me. We're going to hit this last one, and we're going to bring it home. Let's get it. Aim. I'm Serenity. Serenity, yes. how old are you? I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? I'm in finance. I'm a financial advisor, and then I also am a personal trainer part-time. Okay, yeah. all right, cool. And what do you look for in a man? Um, I'm looking for someone who has um, consistent character, um, good morals, a good relationship with their family, has faith in God. So yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, yeah. all right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. <laughs> Let's go on over them and see why they ended up popping. Let's okay. go right on over mm. here. If we can have your name and how old you are. Damn, that's Hi, my name is David, I'm 34. Oh, all right. oh, and David, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, <clears throat> she, very beautiful. You seem strong, like you beat me up. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, so is it like the energy or like what? No, I mean, she, she seems much, she seems, uh, like I say, very beautiful, but just uh, a little bit Masculine. more. Uh, Masculine. Seem, just try not to be rude. I just pop my balloon. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think he's talking about being masculine. She seems a little bit too strong for him and not feminine. Okay. And now, <laughs> is he your type? Um, very classy gentleman, very well put together. I love the suit and the shoes. Thank you. Um, I would say, yeah. 
Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Very right, cool. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go on to our next okay. guy. If we can have your name and how old you are. I'm Obi. I'm 30 years old. Okay. And Obi, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you know what I mean? I, she's beautiful. I like her smile. She got nice teeth. She got a nice body. You know what I mean? She's a personal trainer. I do that on my side, too. Um, but I'm not going to lie. It was just the feet. You know what I mean? I just, I just wasn't fucking with the shoes. You know what I mean? Like, you beautiful, but I just, you. you know, the fit just wasn't it for me. Okay. You know what I mean? But other than that, like, yeah, rock with her, you know what I mean? Blood like, cloud, it is. I mean? That's about okay. it. But the feet, I ain't never seen that as a turn off. But hey, different strokes for different folks. Man. Okay, let's get it. And now, is he your type? Uh, very fit, um, physique wise. Yes, I would say he's my type. Yeah. Right, cool. Thank you. Let's go on to our next guy. If we can have your name and how old you are. Hi, my name's Eric and I am 38. Okay. And Eric, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, I think it's a style thing. I don't like the dress. And I feel like, no, it's, not, it's not a bad dress. It fits you well. It's just I feel like the color. When you're, when you're darker skinned, I like for girls to choose things that will stand out to balance that. And so for me, it didn't, it didn't draw my attention immediately. That's all. Yeah. Right. Well. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. I get what he said. With her being a brown skinned woman wearing brown tones, it kind of just looks like an all brown color. All right, I get it. Yeah. But the we'll bright colors, kind of like the baby blue with the girl right here, the host. Like I wouldn't have chose that dress, but I get what he's talking about. So I'm just gonna bring out your bring out your skin. Okay. And now, is he someone that is your type? Um, all the fellas today are very well put together. Um, they look like they know have they have style. Uh, so I would say um, not necessarily my type, but very kind gentleman, very well put together. Yeah. Okay. And is there anything specific that makes him not your type? Um, I would just say that the hair, I guess, like the dreads. Um, I really love a fade. So okay. that's just my preference. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> all right. Let's go into our next guy. Okay. Oh. <laughs> and we can have your name and how old you are. My name is Joseph. I'm 37. All right. And Joseph, why did you end up popping your balloon? I just told myself in 2024, she got to be 5'4 and under. Is she too tall? And we flipping it because they always want six foot and up. Now we want 5'4 and under. So you know what? If you was 5'4, you'd be my type. Damn. Everything. Okay. Yeah, I know. That's how we be feeling. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Now, welcome Understand. to the side. Okay. Understand. But you all know right. what? I respect it. You're I respect it. You got white teeth. Thank you all you. Yeah. put together. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I need five four. Okay. I respect that. We can't be looking that. each other in the eye when you got on heels. Okay. So I need you to be a little. That's fine. That's <laughs> everybody has a preference. But you're beautiful. Though. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. And now, is he your type? Um, I would say, like I said, yeah. I give credit to all the guys today. They really showed up today, yeah. but the dreads is just not my thing. I love a good fade, yeah. clean cut. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. You need to go get some. Either that or go running down the interstate 10 east west to oncoming traffic and see you hit something. So to bring this home, we're going to shut it down for the day. This here, you know, she handled herself well. She was very respectful. And she was she was cordial, dead on as far as her preference. Same thing with the men. You know, the kings, they they were respectful. Everything was cordial. <laughs> well now I know how he got the name of Bam Bam. <laughs> He's all muscle. <laughs> so with that with that being said, please go to Anthony Spade's channel. Show the king some love. Tell him your big boy. Tell him big truck sent you. And if you haven't already, please go to my channel, subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate all the love. Uh, your comments, like I said, a lot of times we're going to agree to disagree. But still, when you, when you voice your opinion and you share, those are the type of things to get the conversation started. The locker room conversation. You know, the sideline conversation, the water cooler conversation. Because you get to share vibes, whether it be experiences, things that you've learned, things that you've seen. And we continue to grow. Bringing back the masculine man in this place, men know who you are and who you are in the season of your life. And with that being said, kings and queens, 
Go be the best version of yourself for me to see. And I'm out. No, we lie. Expose my weakness. Ego's acknowledge begins with humbleness. Words ever